Not so long ago, we kept memories in photo albums. Remember? Why don't you try to turn the pages? Let's see what it hides inside. Some records can show who we are, the ones we love, how we live. But some memories can't fit in a photo. In a world of miniatures, routine is everything. Every cycle is exactly the same. The tram schedule never changes, the blue car always crosses the rails in the same direction, and so it goes. Traffic guard Washington always stops the tram right before the green car arrives. Wanna bet? In three, two, one, <laughs> See? Then he greets Mrs. Campos. Oddly enough, she waters her garden once every cycle, even though not a single drop of water comes out of the hose. She doesn't even notice. Well, it may be too repetitive for some, but not for Pedro, the paper boy. He quite enjoys a life without surprises. Even the newspapers he delivers bring the same news every time. Proud of his articulated legs, Pedro is the only doll who can ride across the entire model. But he always rides on the same track, the one and lonely track. Every cycle he picks up the same lucky message from the crank organ player on the street. Happy are those who are on the right track. As someone who has lived his whole life on the same track, he agrees. But sometimes, to stay on the same track, Pedro has to wait for the tram to pass. At one point, Pedro allowed himself a small transgression took a yellow flower from a tree. But even a little break like that, if repeated thousands of times, will eventually become routine. Pedro would not change a single thing. Well, maybe just a tiny little thing. He would work up the courage to declare his love for Rosa, the florist. He's completely in love with her. Pedro always promised himself that he would speak to Rosa. He told himself that if the church bell rings before the tram leaves, he would speak to her. That if the dog barks two times, <clears throat> I mean three times, if the dog barks three times, he would speak to her. But he also knew the next cycle was always around the corner, so he could delay it until then. Meanwhile, Pedro convinces himself that simply plucking that yellow flower would do. <laughs> Only someone like Pedro would think that a flower is a creative gift for a florist. But as it turned out, the yellow flower meant the world to Rosa. Proud of her articulated arms, Rosa is the only doll who can grow flowers. Although yellow is her favorite color, thorny red flowers are her real work. But someone out there seems to know that Rosa would like her life to be different. Maybe in the next cycle, the yellow flower would bring her the one she has been waiting for.
Another cycle begins, and once again, everything is the same. The tram still arrives at the same time, the blue car crosses the rails again. Traffic guard Washington never fails to stop the tram right before the green car arrives. And then, he greets Mrs. Campos. Courtesy above all. And it is another day for Pedro. Like always, he delivers one newspaper. And another. He's sure both of them bring good news. The same news. The message is still the same. Happy are those who are on the right track. Pedro agrees. Again. And again, he gives way to the tram. Everything is just the same, just like it has always been. Until it's not. Well, on this day, Pedro learned something new. After so many cycles plucking yellow flowers, they finally run out. Confused, he follows the same old path. And for the very first time, he does not leave a yellow flower for Rosa. And Rosa believes that the flower will come if she waits a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Maybe the one she's waiting for will gather the courage to appear. But duty calls, and Rosa keeps living a thorny life. So much work growing flowers for other people's love stories. Stupid people with stupid love stories and stupid flowers. Who needs flowers after all? Pedro believes he will lose Rosa and nothing will ever make sense again. What if she no longer cared about him? Today, of all days, when he was finally ready to give it a shot and talk to her. Maybe. Even the crank organ lost its charm. Happy are those who are on the right track. <laughs> Stupid message. Stupid crank organ. But, wait, wait. What if the right track is actually a detour? What if love is an unknown path after all? Bravo, bravo, my dear Pedro. You've just found the very last yellow flower for Rosa. As they say, fortuna audacis sequitur, which means, if my Latin isn't too rusty, fortune favors the bold. I knew a detour could only be... It could only be... A terrible idea, of course.
After all he went through, Pedro no longer has his bike, but he walks on his own two feet. He does not have a yellow flower, but he's decided to talk to Rosa, even if all the signs say otherwise. But Rosa is not there. And Pedro does not know what to do or where to start looking for her. Until he sees a yellow flower. And then another. And then another one. Pedro, who has always lived on calm waters, is in need of a windstorm, a cyclone, a tornado. Pedro and Rosa need no introductions. Rosa said she kept all the yellow flowers, each and every day. She waited for him to show up. When the flower never came, she understood it was time for her to get out there and look for him. Pedro had to get to know her garden. Now Pedro can paddle all over the model and Rosa can be their guide. Together, they can go further. Have you ever felt like you were living in a ceaseless repetition? In a world of miniatures, routine is everything. But with a little bit of courage, you can change it. After all, <laughs> walking the line is not enough. Sometimes you have to draw it as you go.